The 49ers are all the way back. They beat the Bengals 34-3, another shellacking of a very competitive team. Not only did they just beat the Jaguars, but they destroyed them. It kind of reminds me of the Cowboys game where it's, it was kind of hyped up matchup. Two teams with a great record going into this matchup. They were both, what, six? The five and three 49ers going up against the six and two Jaguars in Duval, in Jacksonville. And the 49ers just go in there and destroy them and like just punk them from start to finish. Never looked, never looked like a match. And it's impressive, dude. Can anyone beat the 49ers when they're healthy? Probably not. They're, there's too many weapons, too many things you got to consider with, you know, Debo and McCaffrey and if Purdy's slinging it. Like, it's tough, man. It's tough. So, like, yeah, there's still some questions on Purdy and oh, what he could do if the 49ers are down. Or if, you know, they need to rely on him in the fourth quarter to win a game. But if, they, if they're if they at full strength, if they got the squad, if they got the Avengers, you know, then, it, like, you might never see the 49ers trailing in the fourth quarter. That's, like, that's the point that, like, you got to you gotta kind of highlight. Like, if the 49ers are full strength, you might never see Purdy in that situation until someone gets hurt or something, like. And I know injuries happen all the time, and it might be inevitable inevitable that, you know, McCaffrey or someone gets dinged up here and there. But there's there's a little, there's also a chance that they just stay healthy the rest of the way. And if they do, like, a healthy 49ers team with Purdy playing good, having a good pocket, confident, it, it it's bad. It's bad. Like, I know NFC teams, when they saw this three-game skid that the 49ers were on, they're probably getting excited. They're like, oh, come on, dude. Like lose another one, we want more term- turmoil over there in the Bay Area. We want we want the media to really get on them. We want them to cause some QB controversy. Like if you're if you're flirting with the idea of starting Sam Darnold, no offense to Sam Darnold, you're not going nowhere. You know, uh, so I'm pretty sure the NFC teams and the NFL teams were probably rooting for the Jaguars. Like, dude, Jaguars are a good team. Let's root for them. Um, 49ers are gonna lose four in a row. Even with the bye week, they're not gonna get it together. There's gonna be turmoil. The crowd's gonna turn on Purdy. Like it's gonna be tough for them to keep starting him, Mister Irrelevant. If he has another bad game, like they're really gonna flirt with the idea of starting Sam Darnold. I, I know the rest of the NFL was hoping for that, but nope. Forty Nine ers straighten it out. They're healthy now. Um, they added pieces to their defense, and Purdy looks like he's confident. Stepping into throws, some dimes to Kittle on the right side. Like that was a beautiful throw. Like he he made some impressive throws yesterday. The Jaguars, on the other hand, looked very, 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 very flat. Um, Trevor Lawrence, it's a discussion for another day, but man, he has not lived up to the hype of of you know the best prospect since Andrew Luck. You know, a can't miss prospect. Gonna like, yes, the most impressive thing he did was that comeback against the Chargers in the playoffs last year, but like. And the second half of last season, but this year he has just not looked good. Turns the ball over too much, not really getting explosive plays from from the offense, not really going up and down the field. And as a fantasy owner of Calvin Ridley, I will say that offense makes me pull my hair out. It makes me stress. It makes me, you know, not well, unwell. It makes me unwell. So for the sake of my fantasy football team and for the sake of the Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence, you got to step it up the second half of the season. Like, you can't have more. I think he has um, 10 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 2 lost fumbles, or something like that. He has more turnovers than touchdowns this year. Just can't happen. Can't happen. Especially when everyone says you're the next coming of Jesus. Like, you're, like this is this is the man. Like, just look at his hair. Look at, look at the way he walks. Look at the way he carries himself. Look at the way he throws a ball. Look at the spiral on the football. Look at his... His mold, he's like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, slender, he could run, he has cannon arm, he's smart, he's, he's, he's all the way right in between the head. Like, the way people were hyping him up before the uh, NFL, and he, yeah, amazing playoff performance against the Chargers last year, but we were hoping for him to build on that and have just a true breakout year this year in the regular season, and he's just not doing it. So, I, I get it, it's the 49ers at full strength. Tough matchup. Not not a lot of teams have been able to do that in the last few years at full strength. But I expected more from, from Lawrence. 